The first thing we need to do is create a folder for all the assets. You can name it whatever you want. Inside this folder, we can organize the assets in subfolders. For example, I have a folder for the medieval props, another for the nature pack, one folder for each asset pack. Inside the medieval props, I have the Blender file. We need to save or move the Blender file with the assets inside the folder. I'm going to open the Blender file. And as you can see, all the objects are marked as asset. You can mark any object here in the outliner. Right click and mark as asset. We can do the same with materials. Go to Material Properties, right-click, and mark as Asset. Open the Asset Browser, and here we can add a custom thumbnail. Just click on the folder, and look for your render or image, but of course you will need to render each object. We can save the file. Now open a new Blender file. Go to Preferences. In File Paths, click the plus button and now look for the folder we just created. I'm gonna add the medieval props. Click to open the folder, but you won't see the Blender file, that's okay. Just click Add Asset Library. Now open the Asset Browser. And here we can find the library we just added. We can change the size of the thumbnails. Now we can drag the assets to the viewport. And here, if you use append reuse data, this will create instances. So if I edit this model in edit mode, it will affect all the instances. So if you don't want that, you can use append. And finally, all the assets that you see here are free on my camera. I leave the link in the description.